Well, welcome to the Galactic Table. My name is Caleb, one of your hosts, and today I'm going to show you how I made this really cool custom Cobb Vanth the Marshall. This is a 112th scale or 6 inch figure made with the new Black Series Return of the Jedi Deluxe Boba Fett. So he came out pretty cool. I'm going to show you how I did it. Well, most of it. Right here we have the new Black Series Boba Fett, the Return of the Jedi version, and this is the one I first got. Um, this is one I've made modifications to, and this is one that is staying, you know, as is, as uh, per my modifications. This is one I got brand new, and before I start this custom, I thought I'd just give you a little quick overview of like what's different about them. So you can see that immediately in the way the helmet looks. So this one, the new one, fresh out the box, it's got what people call like the light bulb helmet going on. It's squished in on the sides here, and it just doesn't look all that good but uh, you dip it in some boiling water or some really hot water and it kind of goes back into shape on its own and there is a Tamara Morrison head sculpt under there I painted mine and had the helmet as removable so another thing I did was just where the silver is on here I added some yellow detailing on there so it looks like a like a yellow layer of paint underneath the green and then the silver and his studs up on his shoulders those should be silver on this they are not the new one fresh out the box comes with this plastic cape I got rid of that in favor of a soft goods cape so I think that looks a lot better and I added a little bit of just additional silver detailing like his dent I colored his dent all the way in with silver whereas on the figure out the box it's not Anyways, those are some modifications you can make that'll make that figure better so but that's not what we're here for so this guy is gonna get set aside and we can focus on what we need to do to this one to make Cobb Vanth so there are some things I already have done for this custom and that's because I had made another Cobb Vanth figure previously. I used the Black Series Django Fett figure for that and it has a really bulky kind of squatty body and I, it, Cobb is kind of tall and lanky and it just didn't look very good and the new Black Series Boba is really good and so I thought it would be a much better base for Cobb so I took the legs off of the previous one these are from the Obi-Wan Black Series figure that I you know painted to match his pants and put some pockets on because he kinda has cargo pants um, his belt with a holster it's got the wrong gun in there right now but that's what I got But that belt and then another belt this is a soft goods belt from the same kind of green denim material that I used to replace the boba uh, cape and then Cobb's head which is already painted I got this from Watto Scrapyard uh, you could look them up on eBay and I think maybe Etsy too but Watto Scrapyard sells really good head sculpts so that's stuff I already have done plus the addition of this little shirt <coughs> that I made. I just kind of used Han Solo as a base to just kind of trace an oversized kind of shirt shape and stitched it together. And it doesn't look very good, but we could use glue to kind of hold it in place and I'm going to make like a front flap to go over it and it, it hopefully will work out pretty good. So anyways, let's start doing some modifications on the base figure. So I'm using water that I heated up in the microwave to get it really hot. Normally I do like boiling water on the stove top, but I think this might work. It, th this works well for popping limbs out, so I'm going to see if I can reshape his helmet like that. I'm seeing that this helmet is on kind of sideways, so his nose might be an obstruction, but we'll see. Just let it sit in here for a couple seconds or so. Well, it's, uh, yeah, it's already starting to go back into the shape that it should be. So I'm not going to make this a removable helmet as I did with um, my actual Boba Fett 
figure because, well, luckily since I have that figure and I did make the helmet removable, I test the helmet on this cob head sculpt and it does not fit over the Marshall's lovely locks, so go figure. So I it, it look it's already like gone into its proper shape and it already looks a lot better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the head off though, just so it'll be out of the way while I'm working on some other stuff. Make sure that water pours out of his head because I don't uh, don't really want that pouring out onto me. Um, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the forearms off because I'm going to need to for getting that shirt all sorted out. So once again back in the dunk. It doesn't take long to soften it up. See, so pops right off. Pops right off. You got the gauntlets. Um, this is still attached with the hose. That's going to have to be cut. Um, I'm going to see if I could pop his legs off at the thighs as well. So we can put the, the new legs on there. That seems like that's going to be a little bit more tricky. Once we got that out of the way, then we'll be done with our hot water for the time being. Cobb is such a really cool character. It's really a shame that they haven't made an official Cobb Vamp figure yet. It's really weird that Hasbro is making figures, even from Mandalorian Season 1 now, well after the second season is already over. Oh, okay. That's not what I wanted to happen, but that's what happened. Oh, look. That cob piece armor in the butt plate and that sash just popped right off of there, which is good. That's what I wanted. And you know what? His main belt with the pouches that slides right off too which is what I wanted and that's great I don't have to cut those I mean I'm not using them on Cobb but uh, that's one less thing I'll have to I'll have to mess with I don't have to cut them and um, they'll go into my little fodder box to be used for other custom figures if you squeamish look away especially on such a brand new figure like this because we're about to do some surgery on here so I want to remove these tubes off of here uh, a razor blade is my weapon of choice when I'm doing stuff like this um, I feel comfortable using one uh, just like this be careful of your fingers oh I'm gonna get this nicer one be careful of your fingers and just watch what you're doing so uh, that plastic cape I guess after the hot water treatment it just popped right off so that could go in the trash and we could cut him free of these tubes which is interesting because now that I'm getting into this figure and looking they almost look like an entirely separate piece that was glued in there maybe I'm right I'm not sure but, uh, you know I'm gonna cut them off because I'll put my own tubes on there So his Wookiee scalps, I wonder if those just kind of peel off or pop out or something. Yeah, they're just glued on there. That could go in the fodder box. Okay, now this is what really drew me in to use this figure as a base for my custom Cobb Vant. Some kind of something there. So this flak vest is a completely separate piece from the figure and whether or not it's just a smooth chest or a fabric type texture sculpted in I'm gonna have a soft good shirt over it so Cobb obviously gives the armor to Din Djarin to take it and you know we see him without the armor so I would like the option although I probably rarely ever use it if not for some occasional photography to have him without any of the armor so 
as of right now there's no way to get this vest off um, it was probably popped on there and then the other parts were assembled to the figure so I initially thought that I might cut these seams here and it could go off and on that way but I think what I'm gonna do instead is I kinda want that to remain intact so I think what I will do is slice it right down the middle here and that will allow me to open it up, pull it off, and whenever I have the armor on the figure, the jetpack should hold it together. That's my line of thought at least. Hopefully I won't regret it, but I've like really been wanting to do this on my good Boba Fett figure, but I've had to resist. So I'm just cutting a straight line down it. Ah, oh, and he's free. Oh, there we have it. Use that to take some uh, pictures with just Din Djarin. And yeah, it's a flat, smooth sculpt on there. Alright, so I spent a little time getting a neck issue resolved because his neck was pretty tall. It still looks kind of tall, but I think it'll be okay. And once the flak vest and the armor's on there, it, it shortens it up and it looks, it looks about right. Next thing is getting his shirt sorted out. So I've got me some super glue handy. I may have some additional trimming that I gotta do and whatnot, but it'll be okay. So what I'm gonna do first is just tack it on a little bit up here. And I'm seeing it's going to be pretty long, but I could bring it in like a hem. Just got to figure out about where that's going to sit. Oh, I think I found a pretty good spot. So I'm just kind of gluing and tacking. Let's see if I can get the rest of the shirt folded in. Now when I'm doing like sleeves and stuff, I still want full range of movement in the arms, so I'm going to put his arms forward and bend the elbows. Up on this upper part of the elbow right here. I'll glue it up around here too. No, that looks pretty good. Honestly, that don't look half bad. Okay, so I need to formulate a little game plan to myself on how I'm going to handle that front flap of his actual shirt. Here's how his shirt looks so far. It's okay. I'm not sure if I'm 100% happy with it. It looks all right. Uh, I shaved the kind of wrinkles off Boba Fett's, the Boba Fett neck, and I think I'll just paint it skin color. You shouldn't really see hardly any of it uh, once he gets his like little bandana thing on there. Uh, I don't know if I'm happy with this shirt though. I went ahead and glued the legs on to the stumps. Uh, I don't mind not having that swivel action there at the thighs. Um, one thing I'm going to do real quick that I almost completely forgot about is get this knee pad off because Cobb has that on there so it looks like it's held in by just a little nub thing. I'll just take the razor behind there, dissect it. Because I had the Django Fett knee pad on there and this one looks a lot better. 
Now on Cobb, it's a little lopsided, so... I think I'll glue it on something like that, because he, he doesn't have it on there. And since the bottom portion of those legs is already uh, painted, I could go ahead and put that on there, because we're not really going to do a whole lot of additional work to the uh, armor, aside from just putting some extra silver on there, really. And I don't want it to be a struggle, so... If I can't make the shirt work, then I may have to abandon it and just have it to where he doesn't have removable armor. That looks okay. Alright, let's work on Cub's jetpack because I painted on his legs some to get the pants to match and like I painted the hands. And so while that paint is drying, I figured I could work on his rocket. So. Here's the thing, with Cobb's rocket, what you want to do is you want to take this part off and then flip it upside down. You'll be left with this part here and you want to cut it up here. So I know that might sound a little weird, but let me just do it and I'll show you what it'll look like. See, there's that little part. We discard that. There's that part of Boba's rocket. Flip it upside down. And that's Cobb's rocket right there. And so what I'll do... The cool thing about the Black Series jetpack and rocket is that it's removable, but I don't really need it to be removable. So I'm just going to glue that part right onto there. There's what that looks like. I'll let that sit and dry and then we can, we can paint it. I want to paint his rocket and I want to do it the correct colors. This was off the previous Cobb Custom. The lighting is not very good. Uh, I don't like this jetpack as much as the new one, so that's why I'm not reusing this. But uh, top is red, bottom half is white. It's got some silver detailing, which I'll add when I do the rest of the silver. So I've done a little bit of painting and stuff off camera, just some really kind of easy, simple stuff. Like, uh, for example, his the fingertips on his gloves, and then trying my best to color match the pants which I could see it's not perfect but it'll blend a little better once I do some dry brushing on uh, some black on there and um, I glued his accessories back on I mean I already had them made I wish I could have shown you making those but they were already made from the last custom so I mean I just tacked them with glue and wrapped them around like a belt so the rest of this is, oops, I didn't mean to get that much out, but it just kind of, top half is red. The good thing about painting stuff like Cobb or even Boba is if you don't have exact really nice lines while you're painting, don't even worry about it because if you mess something up or if something doesn't look you know perfect and pristine just put some silver markings over it and you'll be good now I may be correct in thinking that now is silver time time for silver I use rust-oleum metallic this is metallic aluminum and I really like using this I think it's way better than using like a silver acrylic paint I have some of that and it doesn't it, it's so transparent um, it, it doesn't even seem to matter how many coats I do it just stays clear this it goes on quick it goes on fast and it dries ridiculously fast so I'm done this rendition of Boba Fett 
quite a bit, so I'm pretty familiar with how the weathering should look, but I'm using my uh, Return of the King boba here to reference where I need to put my silver weathering. So I've got an old tin, tin can here that I'm just sprayed on, make sure you got adequate ventilation. I shouldn't have to tell you that, but I keep having to tell you that. When we left off, I was doing the silver detailing on Cobb here, and I'm going to say that he's pretty much done. I did a little bit of extra work off camera, just some tedious, fiddly little bits, like I uh, did a black wash over him, which is just taking a really wet paintbrush and getting a little bit of black paint on it, and you just go over it, and you get like a paper towel, and just dab it. I mean, I should have showed that, but I, I just did it real quick. It's a real fast process and I did glue these tubes onto his arm. This is from old Apple headphones. I just took the tubes, super glue here and there, and then just tuck them up under the vest. Um, I glued the jetpack on because I abandoned the removable armor idea and I mean that's pretty much it and gluing on his previous accessories so I think we're calling Cobb done alright so there is the Marshall right there looking cool as could be wiped out some stormtroopers in his town don't be playing around in his town but uh I really like how he came out. I'll give you a couple more cool pictures of Cobb. Uh, just looking awesome. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I'll catch you next time.